You guys, uh, so I've before a good friend of mine and soon to be yours, Sandy Bernstein. Thank you. Give it up for Lloyd. So anyway, Lloyd was saying that he got a 23andMe DNA kit for uh, Christmas. My husband wants, wants me to get my DNA tested. He said, uh, you never know, you might have a little African in you. And I was like, shit, that was last week. <laughs> and he wasn't so little. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know what some of you might be thinking. Ellen DeGeneres called. She wants her hair and wardrobe back. You know, because, look, my hair's a little short. The clothes are a little bunch. I mean, my, my husband, for one, would like me to grow my hair out. I mean, the other day, he's hitting it from behind. Not, not my favorite position. And he's like, you got your hair cut awfully short this time. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're screwing a do, doesn't it? <laughs> that, that kind of brought things to an abrupt halt. But he wanted me to finish him off with a handy, you know? But it was more like starting from scratch. And after five minutes, I started to complain, like I was getting carpal tunnel syndrome. And he's like, well, switch hands. And I'm like, I'm not gonna switch hands. My Fitbit is on my right wrist. I'm not missing steps for this. I mean, why should men be the only ones who can earn steps that way? I'm telling you, man. So anyhow, this is my second marriage. Uh, as, uh, so I'm divorced. Is anybody else here divorced? Anybody here wishes they were divorced? <laughs> well, when my ex-husband Tom went through his midlife crisis, he just got angry all the time. And one day he turned to me and he goes, I think marriage ought to be a renewable contract. And I was like, really? Hey, does that mean I have the option to outsource? <laughs> no, it's more like the NFL. And I'm not satisfied with your performance. And I'm thinking of court and free agents. I'm like, well, you go right ahead and do that, hon, and I'll do the same. Well, guess what, folks? I did not renew that contract. I got me a quarterback fresh out of college. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. <laughs> yeah. He had a strong arm, lots of stamina, and he knew how to go deep. Yeah, I was thinking of signing him to a long-term contract. But needless to say, I'm married to an age-appropriate man. And you know something? I am glad to be married. I, I don't want to be single. I hear these young people talk about, about Tinder and hooking up and, and eating booty and, and, and smashing and choking. I mean, what happened to good old-fashioned fucking? Eating booty. I mean, okay, eating booty. Now, look, okay? My body has a certain amount of mileage on it. I got hemorrhoids, okay? Let me put Wait it this minute. way. Uh, My butthole has more nooks and crannies in it than a Thomas's English muffin. There's no way you're gonna get that shit clean. And, and besides, you know something? The last time I checked, my clitoris was not hiding out my anus. <laughs> so, as far as I'm concerned, that makes booty eating a huge waste of valuable tongue time. <laughs> I'm just saying. And smashing? That's supposed to be appealing to smashing? <laughs> look, I gotta worry about osteoporosis. <laughs> so do I look like I want a shattered hip? Or shattered pelvis? Hell no! And I'm too young to fracture my hip, so screw smashing. And choking? I'm sorry, but the second some mother starts to choke me, he's getting kicked in the nuts. End of story. But enough nasty stuff. Let's talk about Christmas. <laughs> Hope you guys had a nice Christmas. Did y'all get any lame-ass gifts? I mean, I know I did, like, especially at work, okay? I mean, like, um, we, uh, we had our, our staff uh, luncheon, you know? And I got this. You know, everybody on staff got one of these. And I looked at it, I was like, huh. I wonder what size batteries this takes. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I said it a little bit too loudly, and um, long story short, I ended up in human resources, and uh, I am on double secret probation until March. But uh, anyhow, uh, guys, um, uh, one last thing before I get out of here. Uh, uh, my, uh, did I mention that my ex-husband's name was Tom? I did, right? Anybody want to guess my current husband's name? 
Awesome, Tom. That is correct. And that's really convenient for me because I don't have to worry about yelling out the wrong name there during sex. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it has confused the hell out of my friends. Now, they're all big fans of the Terminator movies, you know, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So get this. They started calling my ex-husband T1 and my current husband T2. And one of them says to me, Oh, Sandy, if this doesn't work out with T2s, they're going to be a T3. And I'm like, hell no, there's not going to be a T3. If there's a T3, it'll be T3 Rise of the Machines. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. I'm Sandy Bernstein. Happy New Year. Thank you. Good night. Sandy Bernstein, everybody.